What's up YouTube, Pete here. It's uh, been a while since I made a video. Been uh, pretty busy, but I just want to give you an update what's going on here at Pete's Turbo Garage. Uh, Hellcat, if you haven't watched the video, I did put the B. Woody uh, intake in. I'll show you a quick uh, video of that. There she is. I did put the Hellcat decal in there. I thought it was a little bit too much orange, so, but uh, still happy with the intake and everything. And other than that, Hellcat's running great. So, uh, the Grand National, a little bit of bad news. Uh, the engine on the Grand National is blown. Uh, I had a, a knock, I thought it was lifters or whatnot. Ended up being a rod on the number one. So I went ahead and uh, basically was gonna repair and I decided uh, I'm gonna look around try to get a new engine to replace it and I actually found one so this engine here is basically uh, remanufactured so everything in it is new pistons uh, cam crank everything and this is the motor I have in mind is actually an 85 motor so this is also an 85 motor so I'm super excited and I got it with shipping and everything for $1,200. So that's a heck of a deal. Um, Grand National's in the body shop. It's gonna be there for probably about a month. So in the meantime, I've been ordering a bunch of parts cause uh, I just don't wanna swap out the engine. I wanna obviously replace everything. So I've ordered a new water pump, uh, gaskets and stuff like that, O-rings, oil pickup just trying to replace as much stuff as I can on it so it's basically like a brand new swap over and then the other stuff I did take off is like my components for the E85 the injectors chip and all that so it's basically a stock car right now as it sits minus the new turbo that I do have on there it does run and drive but uh, with a rod, rod knock it's basically you know it's it's done dealing so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, rebuild that motor once I put the new motor in and then from there I don't know maybe I'll build it um, we'll see. But the new motor is fairly, the stock components on it, it is bored uh, 40 over, which is kind of cool. But uh, when they remanufacture them like that, they put better than the stock components in there, so it's a better engine, that's for sure. I'm kind of excited to get that done. And another thing I'm looking at doing, I put in order to have another two-car garage put up on the property uh, so I could store the Hellcat and the Grand National and avoid the whole hail thing again. So uh, hopefully I'll get that done soon. Old bike's in there. <laughs> I need to get out on that bike. But um, anyways, uh, some other good news. I accepted a job uh, as a psych nurse, so I'll be starting that next week. Kind of excited about that because that was my first choice, and I interviewed for quite a few jobs. But that's the one I, I wanted and, you know, took the acceptance letter and everything. So kind of excited to get started there. And another big surprise, all my beautiful hair is gone. <laughs> So a couple of reasons for that. Um, obviously, it's a pain in the butt to, to keep it uh, maintained, but also safety considerations where I'm going to work. Uh, don't want to give them any leverage. Obviously, they can pull you here and stuff like that. So just uh, one of the things I wanted to do precautionary. But other than that, thanks for tuning in. And uh, if you haven't, like, subscribe. And as soon as I start to uh, build on the Grand National, I'll start posting videos and stuff like that. So hopefully within the next month I get the car back, but they're repainting it. Every, basically the outside of the car is gonna be brand new, which is awesome. And then the only thing I really gotta do after doing the engine and fixing up some things would be the interior, which I'm in no rush for, because the car is not a, an original anyways. It's you know obviously modded and mixed mix matched and stuff like that. So uh, thanks for tuning in again and take care.